Miracy. I'm Jake Davey, and you're listening to Making It. I teach business owners and entrepreneurs how to grow and monetize an audience on Instagram. My idea of an entrepreneur was Richard Branson, and that was it. Literally the only type of entrepreneur that I could think of. And I'd come from a family of teachers. Both of my parents were teachers. Five out of my six aunties and uncles were teachers. And so in my mind, I was going to be a teacher. I was going to go through the usual working system of, you know, zero to 20 education, 20 to 60 or 70, as it will be, is, is working. And then 70 plus is retirement. And only from having my eyes open by going away, doing some traveling, speaking to new people, being in different environments, did I then see the potential that I hadn't yet explored? And I realized, yeah, this is definitely something I want to look at more deeply. So I used to teach French and Spanish in high schools across the UK. And I did that for eight years. And I just knew that I'd had enough of it. So I left teaching, I left the classroom at a time when all of my friends were getting married, getting houses, getting dogs. And um, I just thought, no, this isn't really for me. I wanted to do something different. I felt like there was a little bit more. And so I left teaching, uh, moved abroad, just had almost zero plan, but I knew I wanted to have a bit more flexibility and a bit more freedom in my time. And then also in my finances. And um, as luck would have it, chance would have it, fate would have it. I met somebody whilst I was away, whilst I was traveling in Fiji, and he had an online business and he was out there teaching other people how to build an online business. And I was just totally captivated. And so that was the, the kind of defining moment for me where I knew I had to do something a little bit different. I knew I had to maybe step out of my comfort zone. I find it's always better to look at people that have done great things and got great results and model those, at least standing on the shoulders of giants in the first instance before then going on and putting my own twist on it and putting my own kind of stamp on it as well. It was a total shock to the system to go from being a teacher and, uh, you know, being in a job, being nine to five in kind of a standard job, standard employment, and moving from that role to then managing your own time. And I remember coming home the first day when I was going to be working from home for the first time, which was pretty radical, at least for me, in 2016, way before COVID and what people had become more accustomed to. Um, and sitting there and thinking, I actually have to manage my own time here. And nobody knows if I'm doing the work or not. Nobody really knows you know, what I'm doing or how I'm spending my time. Um, and going from being around you know, hundreds of students at the school and you know, countless teachers as well to suddenly being on my own, it's quite isolated. It was definitely different. It gave me a lot more flexibility. It certainly tested my kind of, if you like, morals in the sense of being honest about, am I actually working myself? Am I committing to the things that I need to do? Am I making that promise to myself and keeping it? Am I being held accountable? All these types of things. And it was a, there were so many things to learn. The biggest influence, certainly in the early stages, in the early years, was, was my mentor. He's a guy called Paul Omani. Uh, and Paul is the founder of a company called Rethink. We looked at all the different options and what was available. And generally, social media was still growing. Social media marketing was in demand. It still is very in demand now, more so than ever. And Instagram was an emerging platform. And it wasn't my choice. He actually sat down and said, I think you should do Instagram. I think you should become an expert in Instagram and help people grow their brands, grow their business and get, get customers through Instagram. And I remember saying to him, I was like, I think you've made a mistake. You don't understand. I don't have an Instagram account. And he said, well, Now's the time to make one. And so I did. That was it. So I invested in a number of Instagram programs and courses. Uh, I think to date now, it's about 67 or 68 different Instagram trainings that I've bought over the past six years and continue to do so. And that was it. I just went all in on finding something that I could become an expert in or have an expertise in. The first moment when I realized I was making it, or at least had a sense that I was making it, was when I was able to match the same monthly income that I was earning as a teacher. And it took me four months in my online business to match the income that I had been earning as a teacher. So it took me eight years to get to that level as a teacher. It took me four months 
to get to that same level in my online business. And then the second moment where it was a real realization that kind of really hit home was when we ran a webinar, an online training masterclass to an audience shortly after the four month period. And we ran a training to an audience and we generated about $35,000 in sales over a two hour period. And suddenly I'd gone from what had taken me 12 months as a teacher to earn equivalent to 35,000 US dollars to being able to do it in two hours. And that's when I, I knew that I was onto something pretty magical. And so those were the two key moments uh, where I've, I felt like I'd kind of broken through and, and was on the, on the road to making it. I would add the caveat to that, which is that I've always learned every single day. I'm still learning. I'm still making a whole load of mistakes, I'm still learning a whole load as well, but that's all part of the fun. I guess it's such a personal thing about the idea of making it. I think in my mind, making it is when you have total fulfillment, total satisfaction. And if you like, it really does come down to peace. I guess as well in what you have achieved and for everybody that's totally different some people get their peace from great relationships some people get their peace from being on their own some people get their peace from building a beautiful business and a successful business some people find they've made it when they have that family that they're building and that they want to be around and spend time with so making it is different for everybody i think with a business the great thing is when you can see ultimately the fruits of your labor so It's when you know that putting the time and energy and effort and focus into something, you can't immediately see the results. But as you continue to do the day-to-day actions, you see amazing responses either from your clients or from people in the team, or maybe even from partners and people that you haven't seen for six months or a year. And they it's almost like they look at you differently because they can see how you've grown and continue to grow and develop yourself. And so I think making it is in many ways it's finding that that level of fulfillment and and accomplishment that somebody has. But I also think that you're always making it. I think it's something that is ongoing and I think it's an ongoing pursuit towards that higher purpose that we're all here for. I'm Jake Davey and you've been listening to Making It. You can find me on Instagram at Jake Adam Davey. I would love to connect with you over there. Making It is part of the Mirror CFM podcast network, which also includes such shows as Course Lab and Just Between Coaches. This episode of Making It was produced by Danny Bermant and Jeff Govertson. Cynthia Lamb is a supervising producer. Danny Innie is our executive producer. Post-production by Post Office Sound. So you catch the great episodes that are coming up on Making It, go ahead and follow us on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or wherever you're listening right now. And if you like the show, please leave us a starred review. It's the best way to help us get these ideas to more people. Thank you, and we'll see you next time.